starting. All right, stand up. We're gonna pre begin with breathing exercises. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, uh, breathing is like the most important thing on brass instrument. Breathing is important yeah. for like yeah, all okay. of life. Yeah. So. Excuse me. All right. So we're just gonna start out. But let's just do a sigh, okay? okay? So we're gonna breathe in like this. I have to flop down? You didn't yes. tell me that. Yes. I know how to sigh though. Yes. Excuse you. Let's do one more. <sighs> All right. So, on brass instruments, uh, you wanna breathe in kind of like an O, like. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know this already? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm in a band. We actually do breathing exercises. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and breathe in uh, uh, four, five, one count, and then breathe out for four. Okay. And then we'll breathe in for one, breathe out for five. We'll keep doing that until we get to eight. Okay. What, why, what, are, what are we putting our hands in front of our mouths for? Do you want to explain that to me? You already know what it anything? is. Okay, fine. Yeah. I mean, it's for a monitor so we can uh, tell what we're doing. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. so that you're breathing out at the same amount the entire time. Yeah. That's yeah, you suck at it. Yeah, okay. All right. Give him a zero. Oh my gosh. Anyways, okay. So yeah, breathing is the most important thing, basically, on all any instrument. But on brass especially, because it's like all breath. It's like, especially like when you play tuba. Oh, man. So Tubas are just gigantic. It's like... Yeah, you have to fill that whole thing Like you play two quarter, uh, two quarter notes and uh, breathe again. So... Anyways. Almost, almost as bad as. All right, so let's sit down. Those are terrible. Yeah. Cause all of your breath goes away. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Go through the instrument, please. <laughs> so, so have you, have you played any brass instruments before? Poorly, yes. Which ones? I've played a trombone before. I've tried to play a tuba before. I think I played a baritone like once. I think I played a trumpet a couple of times. I've just messed around on a lot of instruments. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, you should Your let me try your instruments. Yeah. And they're okay. like, okay. <laughs> so, you understand the idea of the buzz? Yeah. That you're buzzing. I kind of suck at it, though. Yeah. Well, just so, like, make this shape in your mouth like you're saying B. The letter B. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, and then you kind of breathe through that. It's a lot easier on, I feel like it's a lot easier to explain on tuba, because tuba is literally like, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. so but on trombone up, right? and then on trumpet and French horn especially it's really tight it's yeah. just like it's like it it's like that was beautiful yeah you do it now yeah basically okay so let's go to the mouthpiece yes sorry, I guess that's what it's fine I'm being don't worry so this is a French horn mouthpiece. Is it? It's like really, really small compared to uh, other mouthpieces, even trumpet. And go I'm just on. explaining go things on. to you, go goodness. On. Go on. And um, why is it shaped like a cone as opposed to like a cup like the other ones? It's a good question. Babe. But anyways, um, so unlike uh, other brass mouthpieces where uh, you want to put it like this right in the center and buzz, um, on French horn you actually want to get more of your upper lip or lower lip? I'm blanking. Oh my Just God. demonstrate. Let your muscle memory tell you what to do. More of the upper lip. Okay. No. Oh my god, don't fail me. Fail him. I'm sorry. Hang on. You're blowing it. Did you even learn anything? Yes. I know how to play. I like it. More of the upper lip. I got it. <laughs> Good job. I'll just edit that part out. Will you? No. Yeah, leave it in. 
Anyways, but yeah, so it's not going to be even like that. It's going to be okay. more on the upper lip. And uh, you just do the buzz like you did. <sighs> take in a better breath before you go into it because you're kind of shallow you're like but on the instrument you really need to take a really good breath see even that though was a bad breath because it was out of spite <laughs> i do everything out of spite just relax and relax on your breath out you don't want to tense up anything here so okay Good. So let's That's see what that did. No. You're playing about a B or a C. So um, the C is about the middle of uh, your typical beginning playing register. So it's good. Yeah, it's match that pitch. Um, now, just to practice, try roller coastering up and down. Yeah, well, no, I mean, it's good to just experiment like that. Um, you're moving your embouchure a lot, like, to move it, which is good, like, that, or, I mean, it's not, it happens a bit when you go up and down in the registers, but it's not really necessary, but... Not necessary to do what? Like, you're going like this, like... Oh, I see what you mean. Like, you're moving your mouth a lot. I see what you mean. But a lot of it's just uh, about the speed of air. Yeah. And stuff, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so try buzzing that pitch. Okay, so start start from there, and then try to go down. this time. Nope. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you get the basic idea. And the interesting thing, we had a guy come in during our tru tuba, tuba, tuba part. Your part. Yeah. That, um, we were playing the tuba. Talked about the instrument and how, like, exactly his words were but it's more like our mouths are the instrument and yeah then your mouths are the thing that's vibrating yeah, to make the noise exactly and the all the tubing just amplifies it exactly it pretty it's an amplifier yep and so like he even can i borrow your amp yeah yeah you <laughs> now we're like what is this <laughs> what it's a lot easier on well i haven't tried this on french horn but he like gave an example of like buzzing into it so you don't change anything it's just cool yeah so anyways so uh french horn easy to assemble you got this guy and the mouthpiece and you pop it in take a little quarter turn boom assemble <laughs> Same. This guy. It's much better than like saxophone or something. Saxophones are beautiful, excuse you. Yeah, I know. I know. Read instruments five ever. Yeah. So, now I'll teach you how to hold the French horn. Because it's really weird. You ever held one before? N no, no. no. Have you ever heard <laughs> No. Okay. Have you ever seen people hold them? Yeah. So, like, it's really weird. So, you, uh, in your left hand, you got a little pinky ring here yeah. and a thumb ring. Mm -hmm. uh, not all instruments have them, but. Mm -hmm. Well, most maybe, maybe I'll rings. do. Yeah. Some have pinky rings, some have thumb, thumb rings. I don't think the most have very few have both. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. This is special. But like my tuba didn't have a one of the finger things, so I just had to like hold it against something. Um, but the right hand is the weird thing because it goes inside the horn. Oh, that's inside weird. Inside the bell. Okay. Um, it's just, I mean, it's French just how it's done. Are ridiculous. So it's kind of the most difficult part to figure out because you got to kind of get a good balance between the two. How do you put your hand in? I hold it like this. Oh, okay. So it kind of 